Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Excel with Thiru and I'm Thiru Magal. I'm a medical student. I teach for class 11 at NEET and you all know we are at the last 55 days challenge of NEET. So uh, if you guys are new, uh, my plan was 40 plus 15 days. 40 days you have to study and last 15 days you can only your question papers and previous your question paper so today is day three what is the challenge for today so um, today is genetics first chapter principle of inherit inheritance and variation in that you have to cover from page number 69 to 8 till the chromosomal inheritance or before it law of independent assortment these in this chapter mostly the questions will be like you have to think a lot it's conceptual question you have to think and then it will not be directly from the book so today you have to i have given you very little from page number 8 9 69 to 80 so this is very small according to me so finish reading it and do lots of mcqs like go to the google search for chapter wise previous written solve lot of questions solve solve i'll give you an example then you'll know how the questions have been asked of. what are the topics covered in that first is mendel's law of inheritance in that the traits the all the seven traits what are them a seed shape seed color flower color, rod shape pot color flower position and uh, stems height all these are important questions are asked on the seven traits of mendel and then what is the recessive, what is the dominant you have to study and then inheritance of one gene, F1, F1, F2 generation formed what are the terms, what is allele, what is a gene, what is a trait all the terms get with, uh, know the definition of each drug the heterozygous, what is homozygous, the punnett square all of this dominant, what is recessive what does law of segregation do in the mo monohype cross laws of inheritance, law of dominant law of segregation law of independent assortment lots of questions are asked and test cross we can find out the dominant allele whether it is heterozygous or uh, homozygous people you all have to know about the polygenic inheritance the human skin color so it many is uh, incomplete dominance co-dominance incomplete dominance snapdragon that um, mixing of co color and the co-dominance coexisting of blood blood groups questions are like so many asked in this blood groups and all they have to think i'll show you an example in the end of the video how the questions have been asked so you have to think and answer you will it'll be very easy but you have to think out of the box so saw a lot of mcqs to the particular chapter the next page you have the pleiotrophy of the multiple alleles you have the large starch content and short starch content those cross is also very important solve them and you it is very in them the phenotype and the genotype remain same so this is an example so it is inheritance of two genes dihybrid cross so this is very important you have to know the phenotype as well as genotype i've given you the genotype here check out that and write down in your notebook this is also very important you can write it like 11 square plus uh, 22 square plus 11 square so if you expand it you will get the ratio as 22 1 to 1 2 4 2 1 to 1 this is the genotype of the dihybrid cross of the round yellow and wrinkled green the law of independent assortment how this law of independent assortment affect dihybrid cross check out this so this is only today's topic if you are able to finish this and you can also continue with the chromosomal theory so today we are going to do principles of inheritance and uh, chromosomal theory of inheritance also you can start with if you are finished it and let's go to chemistry before it uh, in the end i'm going to show you the types of questions asked in biology do check out i'm going to show you the last thing for today is polygenic inheritance our human skin color so it's like it's very important as it is given in our uh, supplementary book supplementary material of ncrt so it's very important they are genotype and the phenotype they have about like seven phenotypes from very dark dark skin fair dark intermediate skin fairly light skin light skin and very light skin the ratio is 1 is to 6 is to 15 is to 20 is to 15 is to 6 is to 1 we have 20 64 types of genes we get 
today's chemistry is again hello alkanes hello arenes it is in very important chapter so this is the last day today solve all the ncrt in text examples and textbook text exercise what i am telling like everyone will be thinking and i was she's telling you to do a book so you will get lot of conversions that will be very useful for your exam naming reaction rombo mukyo so do study all the name reactions do all the textbook stuffs and then go for ncrt exemplars go for ncrt exemplars uh, chapter wise they'll be like uh, given in the net internet you can check out all those and do mcqs of the particular chapter previous year chapter wise previous year lots of questions have been like websites have given do go check out and solve all of them you will be knowing i'm telling you after you do all the ncrt uh, book back after you then you go for previous your question papers all of them you'll be knowing just do go check out and comment me in the comments physics physics today you're going to do about dual nature and matter so today's task is this follow do all the concepts i I've, i've upload the formula chart and the important uh, points in in my instagram account if you want to go check out i've given the link in my description so yeah important formula and uh, stuff study and then solve lots of lots of mcqs do lots now you have to do previous your question papers only do previous your question paper if i finished all of these three chapters today go for the nta national testing agency app you have the question paper mock question paper solve them then they are they have the solutions do go check out and solve them today and know your score okay yeah we can develop day by day solve lot of questions you will be able to answer all of them check check study and you will be able to answer all of the questions yeah if you want you can uh, go for uh, other materials for principles of inheritance but then uh, ncrt is more than enough yeah study a little bit higher do lots of mcqs so uh, with the solutions lots of mcqs learn numericals are there in this chapter so do go check out it'll be very useful this question which mendelian idea is depicted by a cross in which f1 generation resembles both the parents option 1 incomplete dominance b law of dominance c inheritance of one gene d codominance what is your answer this was asked in neat 2013 so just they just twisting the words nothing difficult same resembles from a f1 generation resembles both the parents that resembles both the parents it's seen in blood right codominance that's it answer is codominance next question see like this question they just twist the words you have to understand it it's a concept chapter you have to understand it only then you will be able to score like i told you factual will be whatever there in the book they'll ask but this will be you have to think a little bit mendel did not use a flowering position b seed color d shape c pod length what is it flower position one question is alleles are 2015 it is asked the previous question also was asked in 2015 alleles are this is only the question what are options heterozygotes true breeding homozygotes different phenotypes different molecular form of gene so what is the answer what is an allele given in the textbook definition it is a gene comprising of different <coughs> contrasting characters so different molecules form a gene is the answer question has been asked like 2011 and again in 2012 same ditto question but the words are different a person with unknown blood group under abo system has suffered much blood loss in an accident needs in immediate blood tra- transformation his one friend who was a wa- who had a valid certificate of his own blood type offers for a blood donation without delay what would have been the type of the blood group of the do- na- and again in 2012 A certain road accident patient with unknown blood group needs immediate blood transfusion. His one doctor or friend had once offered his blood. What was the blood group of the donor? So options are O, A, B, A, B. It will obviously be O, universal donor. But then we do have a exception. O negative will get blood from only from an O negative patient. because of the 
negative uh, antigen present outside the this was an interesting question of test cross do check this out and answer it this is the mass following check this out solve this and comment me in the comment section so this is all about today's video study well do lots of mcqs today solve a mock paper today if possible and bye for now if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do subscribe it and if you have any queries do comment me and do dm me on my instagram bye for now